I'm working on day 14 here in building the smart wood shop. I'm editing it. And today I'm working on, or right now I'm working on the audio. Now I'm laying in music underneath and it'll be really quiet. In fact, you probably won't be able to hear it that well, but I just want some continuity. Oh, um, I have the sound of the saws and stuff also turned way down. And then I'll be adding in my voiceover once this is all done. But what I need to do is I need to make the song the same length as the video. So I've got my video here edited down. I, I've done the uh, rough edits and now I've done a couple of the final edits and I've got it down and sped up and all the things I want to do. And it, it is exactly um, two minutes and 24 seconds and 22 frames. So I know I want to make the song. The song ends a little bit you know, kind of dies off a little bit short of that. So I think um, it looks like it dies off about, oh, three or four seconds early. So instead of making it uh, exactly the length of the video, two minutes and 24 seconds, I'm going to make it maybe two minutes and 28 seconds, and then I can fade it out myself. I right click on the song on that track, and I'm going to choose Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. And once it opens up in this uh, companion program from Adobe, I am going to, you can see the waveform here, I'm going to right click on it and I am going to insert into multi-track. I'm going to create a new multi-track and I'm just going to call this day 14 because I won't need this exact length of the song for anything else. And uh, I want to put it in the right location. Come over here to music, click on that. And then I want to check the duration box. And then you can see it's a minute 34. So I'll drag this over to 227, 228. Let's make it 228. And then I don't want to stretch it because that makes the music sound funny. I want to remix. So I'll click on that and then it'll analyze the clip and it will look for a way to make the song longer. And you can see these little uh, stitch marks here and that's where it has changed the song a little bit and figured out where it thought was the best. So I'll just listen to it there to make sure it sounds okay. Okay, sounds perfect. And I'm going to export it back to Adobe Premiere Pro. And uh, it's already got a good name, Day 14. And now it wants to know if I want to have a new audio track. And I'll say sure. And it drops it in. And you can see it down here. So I've got this one. I'll just, I can mute this one and leave it. But I'm going to just go ahead and click on it, delete it. And I'm going to drag this other one up. And I'm going to put my next track below that. And that'll be my voiceover. But now you can see that it's about the right length. So I want to check my intro here. And that's fine and now I'm going to check the end kind of ends abruptly but that's the way the song ends and I'll just take it right to the end of my video drop it off there and I'm going to add in a transition Well, there's a simple tip in using Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm sure other programs have something very similar. So if you want to make a YouTube video, now you know how to make the music fit. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.